Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts 3 mod showcase. Today for you guys, we have an absolutely insane one to talk about. A Kingdom Hearts 2 experience for Kingdom Hearts 3. No, not just the option to be able to wear the KH2 outfit throughout the entirety of the game, but more so, the ability to be able to use Sora's base combo from Kingdom Hearts 2 in Kingdom Hearts 3. Three. And when I mean like literally his base combo, this is his base combo, down to the actual animations that are being used here, they've literally been ripped out of Kingdom Hearts 2 and have been modded into Kingdom Hearts 3 to replace Sora's already existing combo. Uh, I think we can pretty much all agree here that Sora's base combo on KH2 is probably his best so far, uh, at least when looking towards the base or vanilla version of Kingdom Hearts 3 without any of the Remind update combo modifiers. KH2's is just absolutely iconic and still I feel like to this day is the best feeling. Remember, I'm just talking about the combo animations and abilities, not so much the different mechanics. Now, aside from the combo change mod, we're also using a few other mods here to really kind of flesh it out to make it feel like a KH2 experience with inside of three. So let's cover the smaller ones first. First up, you guys will probably notice that the heads up display is a little bit different. It is reminiscent of Kingdom Hearts 2's with the focus gauge now being more so in the style of the drive gauge. This is created by Blaster Grimm and is known as Kingdom Hearts 2 HUD. The other thing I appreciate about this mod is it also puts the party member heads above Sora rather than your two immediate party members being to the side of Sora for the heads up display. This is of course how it works in Kingdom Hearts 2. Now to go along with this HUD mod, there is also the Illustrated Portraits mod created by Das Mantissimo. Uh, we have covered this in the past, but this essentially allows us to have the Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora art for the heads up display, bringing it back to the old school times. Of course, when we got that Tetsuya Nomura art for the HUD. Man, I still really do miss the Illustrated Portraits. I, I don't hate the 3D models or anything like that, but there's something about the Illustrated Portraits that just looks so good. Next up we have the Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora mod created by Richie 5 This is going to model swap Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora out with Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora. So it basically means we can use this Kingdom Hearts 2 attire and haircut throughout the entirety of Kingdom Hearts 3. But not only that, this also changes up a handful of other models in the game as well. So when looking at the different world models for Sora when he goes to specific worlds that change up his outfit, these have all been slightly tinkered with. When going to San Francisco, Sora will remain in his Kingdom Hearts 2 model, but he'll have the visor on. When in the Caribbean, Sora is now permanently in his second form version of the pirate outfit. When in Monstropolis, Sora is still Monster Sora, except now the pieces of clothing that he's equipped with is the Kingdom Hearts 2 clothing. For Toy Box, Sora's base model is now permanently second form. Sora will correctly be in his Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit when in 100 Acre Wood with the cell shading effect going on. And finally, when in Quadratum, Sora will remain in his Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. Not just that, but all of the Keyblade transformation forms throughout the game have also been swapped out with the Drive form outfits from Kingdom Hearts 2. I simply love light, dark, and double form. Uh, this form is obviously using a custom outfit with the icon displayed on Sora's pants, which is like a heart with wings. It looks just super badass. Uh, I really do think Richie has done God's work here to be able to give you that Kingdom Hearts flair uh, for absolutely every aspect of Kingdom Hearts 3. However, let's talk about the absolute spicy chicken of this mod, 
and that is the Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora animations created by Komatsuna. This is where the gameplay changes come into effect and will literally turn Sora's base Kingdom Hearts 3 combo into his Kingdom Hearts 2 version. This is quite literally taking the animations from Sora's moveset in Kingdom Hearts 2 and putting it into Kingdom Hearts 3. So yes, technically, completely custom animations. It's not like different animations that are already within KH3's files are being reused here. A lot of these are completely custom from Kingdom Hearts 2. Some of the same effects and stuff from Kingdom Hearts 3 are being used. But for the most part, this is completely authentic. So on screen are a bunch of the different abilities that are within Kingdom Hearts 3 that have been changed. So if you guys are going to use this mod for yourself, uh, make sure all of these abilities are activated in order to get the most use out of the mod. And here's a list of all of the different Kingdom Hearts 2 modifiers that have been imported into Kingdom Hearts 3 to replace the animations of the Kingdom Hearts 3 abilities that are on screen right now. And you can see side by side that the Kingdom Hearts 2 base combo is here in Kingdom Hearts 3, baby. Finally, Bliss. Uh, and even though we do, of course, have like quite a few of the different abilities from Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora integrated into second form, I still feel like it just doesn't have that Kingdom Hearts 2 based feeling. And I know a lot of this is just like absolute nostalgia drunkness, but to see this like working properly and actually feeling good and surprisingly not jank, is actually incredible. When looking at the ground combo finishes, we have Guard Break, which is of course the classic PS move that Sora can pull off in KH2 with a very accurate looking effect. Remember, the effects, I believe, are actually being reused from uh, different effects within Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, but again, the way that this person has been able to kind of edit them and make them look authentic to that of Kingdom Hearts 2s is quite impressive. And then we have the classic, hands down best combo finisher of them all, Explosion, and no, not that shitty explosion that we have in second form. <laughs> it happens so quick and there's no real oomph behind it, but like a proper good feeling uh, explosion, a part of this base combo with the correct animation and everything. Um, also, the explosion effect has been tweaked a little bit uh, to look a bit bigger. That's kind of one of my complaints towards explosion in second form is the, the balls of light that come out just they don't look big enough where's the big nuts man we've finally got the big nuts back it's great for the aerial combo finishes we have aerial finish which does feel as satisfying like to a t i'm not even kidding you as it does in kingdom hearts 2 uh, again this move is already a part of second form but it is tweaked here using the kingdom hearts 2 animation and then of course we have the classic magnet burst which again is in second form but it's just slightly tweaked here. I can understand why Magnet Burst isn't a base combo ability to be able to use just because it is very overpowered. It works pretty much against everything other than large boss enemies, but it literally pulls in everything. Just as it does in second form, it's very satisfying to use as a base combo combo finisher. Vicinity Break is back and works just as it does in Kingdom Hearts 2 when Sora is surrounded by a multitude of enemies. He will do a 360 degree spin attack. We have the classic Sliding Dash finally returning. It's so surprising that Sliding Dash didn't come back for Kingdom Hearts 3. This is something that confuses me still to this day. It's been a staple point ability of Sora since the very get-go. Why it never came back for Kingdom Hearts 3, I don't know. Obviously, Flash Stamp really helped with the Remind update to kind of give us back that sliding dash type ability, but uh, it feels really good here in Kingdom Hearts 3 and works really well. Only one of the counter abilities have been replaced here, and that is Counter Impact, so be sure to activate that, but that has been replaced with the Counter Guard animation, where Sora basically steps on the ground and performs an AoE attack. The animation for Aerial Recovery has been switched to the Kingdom Hearts 2 version, and also uh, Retaliating Slash has been added to the counter of Aerial Recovery. So Payback Strike works just like Retaliating Slash. We've also got Horizontal Slash, so in Kingdom Hearts 2, if you are in an aerial combo, you could press Square to perform a series of Horizontal Slashes. The same applies here, except you just press Circle in midair. Currently right now, you can only perform one set of a horizontal slash, whereas in Kingdom Hearts 2, you could do multiple. Uh, I do know the uh, mod is going to receive updates, so this might be changed later on down the track. Dodge slash is in here and 
we keep moving. Now you guys are gonna get an absolute kick out of this one. Reflect has been integrated into Sora's base combo here. Now it's not a magic, but when Sora does guard in mid air, he will perform the reflect animation with the correct barrier spell, as well as the actual animation Sora performs whilst inside of the reflect barrier. It looks so cool. Reflect is obviously one of those magics that have been sorely missed since Kingdom Hearts 2. What is neat is uh, uh, Kometsuna has actually even gone as far as to make it so that when you perform the aerial guard, uh, it will actually consume MP to give you that feeling of, okay, I'm actually using Reflect. Even if your MP is on cooldown, however, though, you can still perform the aerial guard, which is Reflect. Uh, it will just consume your MP if you do have MP. The aerial guard counter though is just super cool, so if you successfully guard an attack, you'll be able to follow up with a reflect explosion. Now when looking at the mobility side of things, Sora's high jump is now the high jump animation from Kingdom Hearts 2. We also have quick run replacing air slide, which I think feels far nicer than air slide in my opinion, and also covers a lot more distance. And finally, replacing double flight is master form aerial dodge. It works very well and can actually really get you out of some sticky situations. It's just super surprising to see how well all of these abilities translate into Kingdom Hearts 3 to a point where I wish we actually got a dedicated Kingdom Hearts 2 form that uses KH2's moveset to a T. I'm a Kingdom Hearts 2 sucker, 100%. Though, nothing against 3, I still toss up between both 2 and 3 being the peak Kingdom Hearts games to this day. I really cannot decide between the two. Obviously, second form is a mixture of Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 1, and I think it's a super cool form. It's just, I guess I went into Kingdom Hearts 3 activating second form thinking, alright, this is like Kingdom Hearts 2 mode with a little bit of Kingdom Hearts 1 flavor sort of sprinkled on top. And while it kind of is, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as good as the base Kingdom Hearts 2 combo. I just want to quickly mention when looking at Aerial Dodge, uh, generally it's meant to give you a bit of additional height in Kingdom Hearts 2. That's not present here in Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't expect everything to work at one to one, even though for the most part, basically everything that's present in this moveset mod is essentially one to one. But what has been mentioned is apparently this mod is going to receive further updates and more animations added to it over time. So that's super good to know. One other additional mod that I definitely do want to mention here, just to give you a little bit of extra KH2 Sora flavor, is the KH2 Sora Battle Quotes mod created by Saro. <laughs> One last thing that I should mention, while I'm not going to give it a complete feature here in this video, at this stage you can pretty much play as every single drive form from Kingdom Hearts 2 in Kingdom Hearts 3. Here on the channel we have covered both Valor form and Final form, there are a few others out there as well, but it's just super impressive to see that like we've basically now got a fully fledged Kingdom Hearts 2 experience within Kingdom Hearts 3. Honestly, these mods, I keep saying this time and time again, but they just really do keep getting more and more impressive. And I think what's really neat about combining all of these mods is you can now start a fresh new game for Kingdom Hearts 3 with the mods installed to give you a brand new experience, gameplay-wise. There really is something quite neat about having all of the Kingdom Hearts 3 mechanics on top of the base combo of Sora's. It's sort of like mixing the best of both worlds. There's a lot that Kingdom Hearts 3 does right, but there's also a lot that Kingdom Hearts 2 does right, mainly when looking at definitely the base combo of Sora in that game. So kind of mixing and melding two really good things together, the outcome, well, it's like a peeking duck that has been absolutely perfected. It's some tasty goodness. However, guys, that is all for today's video. As always, I'll leave the links to all of the mods that appeared in this video in the comments section down below. Uh, massive, massive congrats and, like, incredible work to Komatsuna for putting together, like, just something 
simply jaw dropping right here this is something that i know a lot of people have been wanting for quite some time can we actually just have the raw combo modifiers from kingdom hearts 2 in kh3 it's now a reality do be sure to leave your guys thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below have a guys i'm cynical hopefully i'm a good one and i'll see you guys real soon peace